Good morning and welcome back to the weekly rally. As winter birds fare well and nature comes alive, it can only mean one thing. Spring is just around the corner. The upcoming spring season promises a spectacular blend of competition, camaraderie, and unforgettable moments. Sports team takes a look at the upcoming spring sports. Everyone's replaceable. RVHS is one of the top high schools in the state, and part of that success starts at the top with Mrs. Buning, our principal. This week, the Ralston Review team sits down and talks with Mrs. Buning. Let's take a look. If you are what you say, when did you know you wanted to become a principal? I wanted to make a difference and I wanted to make a change so it was relatively early that I knew I wanted to be a principal but I knew that I needed to be an instructional leader first so I first chose once I left the classroom to be an instructional coach and then I knew I was ready to move into being a principal. It sounds a little complicated. It is complicated and it's difficult but I love it. Yeah. What is some advice you would give students here at RV? Um, I would say that life is going to fit um, present you with challenges every single day and barriers and it is your job to figure out how to just get around those barriers and not let those barriers hold you back because if there's something you want to do in life do it very helpful thank you so much for this interview mrs buning it was a pleasure talking with you today go back whatever you did you undo heavy is heaven the devil on my two sons Great, Scott. Subject Swap continues with the versus Scott Showdown. This week, we have an epic battle featuring Mr. Scott Merkel and Mr. Scott Goss, who will emerge victorious in this battle of wits. Take a look. What is the bottom number in a faction called? The denominator. That is right. Who was the last Tsar of Russia? Alexander the Great. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Do you have a guess? No, I have no idea. <laughs> the last Tsar of Russia was Nicholas II. Oh, right. Nicholas. Is our universe currently expanding or... Always expanding. That is true. How many protons does hydrogen have? Three. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Hydrogen's one, so one. That is correct. Right, Scott. And that wraps up our weekly rally show. Thank you for joining us today and celebrating our achievements, talents, and incredible school spirit. As we head into the weekend, I want to remind you to check out our Instant Valley material on Instagram. And remember, there's no school tomorrow or Monday, so we have a wonderful long weekend. And we'll see you back here for some more weekly rally content. Stay awesome, stay positive, and we'll see you later, Austin Valley.